Hey, it's Jessica, and I am going to be doing a full cage clean. So I thought I'd kind of try to get a video of it. Um, Pat's not here, though, so I'm going to be doing it myself. So there's going to be a lot of stopping and turning it back on and off and on. Um, Pat usually vacuums in the morning, but I don't think he did today. He looks awfully messy. And he usually always puts these curtains up for me. I did this friggin' video six days ago, and then deleted it on myself, and emptied my recycle bin on my computer because I'm an idiot, so it completely disappeared and I was so angry. So this is the full this is the full full clean though. My last clean I didn't change the curtains or the hay bags. I'm doing all that this time. So yeah, so so since Pat didn't vacuum this morning there's a lot of poops, but that's okay because I'm gonna be emptying my garbage my garbage. My um shop back. Just down here. I'll do that completely, so good, good suction. Um, usually I get all my clean fleece out and ready to go. Which, <laughs> I was lazy and I left it in the basement. So it's already out and ready to go. So I'm just going to use this again, but on the Hello Kitty side. So we've got Hello Kitty. we got whatever you want to call those. Ready. Uh, tunnel. Um, probably won't be using this. I won't be using that. I need these. See, a lot of people don't know, but I have two of these 2 by ones I only have two, though. I should probably get two more. And it's actually underneath, right here. I'll show you. Let's see? Because this is, uh, Pat said, when, um, the last time I bathed my guinea pigs, he actually cleaned underneath the coroplast, and he said there was a lot of spillage from this corner, so we put it there now underneath. And the reason why we put it underneath and not over top is because Pat complained and said over top would be annoying because you're blocking the pattern of the fleece, and it would be more annoying to also vacuum, which is kind of right about that. So, I got this. Oh, and the reason why I have this 2 by one is, uh, I never said, um... My liner for the 2x5 liner is short. She made it short. Accidentally made it short by like that much. So maybe 2 inches max. So she ended up just giving me, throwing this in. 2x1. So what I do is I put it in this corner, since half of it's covered anyways by the uh, lower box. So I need corner pads and these thingies drip pads. I want to use these nice big monkey ones. And I want to use the heart ones, I think. Oh, and I'm going to need the corner. Yeah, I'm going to need these are my other set of hay bags and my corner curtains. I need to get more hay bags. I want to get more hay bags. And I want to get two more drip pads. And then like four more one by ones and like two more two by twos. Like that. That type of stuff. Room's a mess. Clothes is everywhere since this is taking up my basket. So after the video I will put all my fleece away. So yeah, I'm just gonna empty my vacuum because I know it's full. Or at least it's almost full. And it's really annoying when you have to empty it like while you're cleaning the cage. So I'm just gonna do that off camera because I need both my hands. Back. So it was full, so that's good. Um, if you watched my video where I was just spot cleaning my cage, um, you saw how I used the vacuum. So basically, I just do that when I clean my cage. But I always do this section first. So the pigs will run over to this side and just stay there while I'm cleaning this side. And I'll be getting this side done first. And I put down the clean fleece so then I can scare them over to this side and clean this part of the cage. I'm going to move the bowls out. Do, 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 do. I don't always take the toys out. Sometimes I just move them over. I'm not going to actually vacuum on camera just because um, I'd rather have both hands so I can do a good job. Plus it's really loud, and I don't feel like editing, editing that out. 
Ew, this one smells. I think I should throw it out. Time to throw this out. But I think I have another one for you guys. I think. If I find it, I'll give it to you. Remember I bought one and then Hagen gave me one. That was convenient. Ah. Something's in my slipper. That's garbage. That's pretty much what I do with my shoes. I smell them. They smell like they've been peed on and they're going in the garbage. So yeah, um, when I spot clean, I pretty much... What are you looking for, Lily? I pretty much only care about the poos. But when I'm doing a total clean, I want to make sure I get as much hay up, hair up, everything. It still doesn't take that long, really. So yeah, I just use this. And because that's the extension, that's how I reach back there. And the first thing I usually do is clean up, you know, like the pads. Pads and the stuff that I can just throw into the um, basket. Like any of the cozies I take, and the uh, litter boxes I take out, and I deal with that later because that stuff gets thrown in our green box because it's just hay and poop and uh, recyclable litter. So, yeah, I'll be back. And Pat should be home soon because it is past 4 30. So, this is the fleece vacuumed as well as I can do her. So I think he's home now. I think I hear him downstairs. Now that I got the flash on, I can kind of see other places where I can go again, though. Like here. So I mean, like, you think the lighting's really good, but that's because I have my flash on my phone on. If it wasn't for that, and some lighting's not that great. So now, basically, what I do is I pick this up, and I do shake it. Just here. Shake it out here. Put that in the eel. Just took something wet. I think it's just water though. This bottle likes to drip. And now there's stuff on the core class that I need to vacuum up. And I'll do that quickly. Maybe I'll do that quickly on camera. So here's your warning. Vacuum's going on right now. If you're a headphone user, turn down your volume. vinegar spray actually I don't take any of these wood things down because I'm lazy I just kind of prop them up like so like that I don't know if I can do that with this one hmm this is the one I just made oh maybe we'll just stay up like that oh what about but my bed oh no Okay, whatever. I'll just go around it. This is my vinegar and water solution, and I just spray. I spray put it like a lot on, especially this back wall, because like if you see any like little spots, that's pee. I don't know how they get it on the back wall, but they do. This is why I have the like, 12-inch back wall. And for anyone who doesn't understand why people have 12-inch back walls, this is why they somehow pee. Just like right there by the water bottle spout, it's always really gross. Right there, like I don't know what the pigs are doing. They're peeing everywhere. Get this corner really well. This toy needs to go somewhere. This toy's making me angry. Seriously. Hey. Come on, bunny rabbit. There. I did something with that. Bunny needs to go down here. There we go. Put that on there. It's actually kind of handy doing this with the uh, flash on because I can see better. There's all my clothing mess. I'm going to clean that tonight though. 
So yeah, so you can, um, if it's really bad, if you have actually, if you have actual, like, white spots on your chloroplast, you can wait five minutes if you want, just to let the vinegar work. And then I don't usually uh, wait that long, I'm looking for paper towel. Paper towel. I don't know. No, Pat had a piece yesterday. Oh yeah, all this is dirty too, so this needs to go into the hamper. There, yeah, like that. Because it opened a new roll. I've got two rolls left. I have to buy more. See, so now you just wipe down the cage with the paper towel. And I'll be back. So now he's holding the camera. So I put this one down first. I might want to show actually in the cage. <laughs> so this one goes down first, like I showed before. Now this is my clean liner. Yeah, hello kitty. Yeah. That's the annoying part. This one likes to slide. Have you ever put it on these strawberries? Yeah, it was, it was just on the strawberries. Hmm. Apparently I don't pay attention when I vacuum, I just vacuum. Okay, boy, boys don't care what it looks like. I know. That one looks smaller than the other ones. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did it shrink or is it just not as light? Sounds wide. Huh. Because the other ones are really wide. Yeah, because I gave her, like, stupid directions. <laughs> reason why that is up is so the pigs don't cross over. Because they will. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Lily. It's Lily. I know. It's always Lily. Are you coming, Lily? No, not until <laughs> I start. What I do is I vacuum the pews on the side first, and then I let them go over. If they already come over. No, they won't because they come the plastic. Oh. They don't like stepping on the plastic. That's true, they freak out. So Prepared. Hurts. I hope all your stuff matches. Not really. It's just all cute. That's my theme, cute. Yep. But it does match. It's pink, pink, pink. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want all this pink on the strawberries now. <laughs> Have you uber pink? And then I took this corner curtain off, so I'm going to be adding this one. Ah, wolf. Yeah. I only have two sets, so. Really? Yeah, I only have four. Oh, we need to get more. Yeah. It's good to have a lot of everything. It's good. To, I'll probably get more, maybe, eventually. I don't know. There's other things I want more than curtains. Yeah. Plus, I'll probably get from Piggy Pop Shop. I like those. You know, I know. I know you don't like the way she does this, but that's too bad. Yeah, that's really it. wide compared to the other ones. The other yeah, ones the, are. The pigs don't care. Yeah. No, I know. That's all that matters. <laughs> Gotta make it tight like a tiger. <laughs> giant gap here, but that's okay. Yeah, you know. There's a giant I, gap in my cage there, anyway. Well, you know, you fix it. You put this in between, like right here. No. I and then like you that. bring this down. No. No, I'm just saying that's how you fix it. Look, the core plus is retarded anyways in this corner. Yeah. That's weird. Because, yeah. That's what happens when you buy your cage from, like, any big store that doesn't know what they're doing. And this keeps on doing, and, yeah. I pretty much want new core plus because it's freaking falling apart and it's making me angry. Well, it's been a year now? Yeah, At but least. But it should last longer than that. Yeah, but we can always invest. I think that we should invest in that next, actually. Should be able to buy some from a Canadian cage store, but I don't know if they do 12 inches at the back. Yeah, because you want to have that. I yeah, like it. Are you going to try and get a 12 inch over there too? You can't. Cause really? Because like, I buy a 2x5 and a 2x3. Oh, yeah. So I vacuumed up the, co the cozy items and the pad and lap pad. I mean the drip pad that was here. So now I'm taking off these Hey bag. So I don't need a 
hardware. Pigs are still on the side for now. I try, I try to leave them on the side as long as possible, even though they don't really like it. Just prop my dirty one up here. So yeah, so I got all that to clean. Somehow hay always gets under. Well, that didn't help. I gotta take the current off. And what happens is when I get it fairly clean, I'll put this down and they can run over. And then I put it back up like this to keep them over in this corner. And then I shake this fleece out as well, like I did the other one, inside the coroplast. Okay, so the fleece is gone. And now I gotta spray my vinegar solution again everywhere. Hands. Always get here. And here's the tape where I tape my two pieces together. It's just a two by three connected to a two by five. And this is gorilla tape, so it's actually stronger than duct tape, and it's waterproof. Try to do the back wall. And where I can't reach. Uh, I use the vacuum to even wipe up, <laughs> or Pat sometimes does it, but lately I've just been doing it myself. Yeah, there's that, there's the pigs hiding in the corner. I could have gave you something. Could have gave you one cozy, but I didn't. Silly pigs. Oh, relax. Just paper towel. Let me just wipe. Just wipe everything up. I know some people don't use a vinegar solution. They use like a store bought. Cage clean. I just kind of think that's a waste of money. And not all of them are safe. Some of them are full of chemicals. While vinegar is safe for everything. You can actually accidentally put vinegar into like an aquarium and even your fish won't die from it. That is how safe it is. So I'm just going to wipe that up off camera and come back. Oh, I'm probably going to put the liner down that you see it just because I have a harder time with it because it's so long I have to again push it with the vacuum uh, to make sure it fits this side down and Abby decided to hop this what are you doing? so I'll just put this down and they can all come to the other side so as you can see this is the gap I was talking about so what I do is this is the one by two that she gave me. And I make sure it's nice and folded up. So it covers a lot. Because might as well. And they're already in the tunnel. Because I love it. And this still goes in the corner. there. The tunnel usually goes right here. The boning is a little mushed probably from the dryer or washer. So it's got that cor <laughs> corner curtain to put up and then the two hoodie huts to put down there. And probably gonna put the cuddle cup thing there. So I'll do that now. 
Good look up. She put this owl one down. So yeah, so that is how I clean my cage. All the only thing I have to do now is throw out this hay, um, clean out these boxes, which I just wash them with uh, like just soap and hot water. Um, I have a little bit of yesterday's news left. Fill them up and use my clean hay bags. Fill them up with hay. And then that's it. Oh, I put this in the back. There. I haven't really been chewing on it, but whatever. So yeah, so I'll be back when the whole cage is clean. There we go. Back. Litter boxes are clean. Empty hay bags are in. This is my new hay. It's the nine pounds from Oxbow, which is really annoying because they give it to you in this one big bag. And it's like, you have nowhere to put it. It's in a bag. It's hard to get out. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying the 25 pound box next time. This is, I think, when I bought this one, I didn't have the money or something. Something like that. Because I had to buy hamster food as well. This bag is pretty full. It's full enough. They were popcorning. What did you guys do? What did you do? I knew it's all Daisy, but Daisy's been popcorning away actually. He's been missing it. So here's my massive bag. It's actually tucked out there. It's only nine pounds. It's all in one bag. It's good quality hay though. It's got a lot of these sprays, which is kind of cool. Pigs like it. They've really been liking this hay though, because I've noticed every time I give them hay, they pop corn. Even the older ones. So didn't make too much of a mess getting the hay into the bag, so that's good. So these bags hold a lot more than you think. I like to fill them good since I have poor pit poor pigs. Four pigs. Sorry about the noise in the background. People are making food for dinner. Um, since I have four pigs, but yeah, they finish the bags pretty quickly. Once a day, I fill them. So, move this to the side. All I do is prop it up in the cage. Move. And then I try to gracefully get the hay into the hay bag without making a giant mess. So I've always, this is orchard grass. It's just ox bones of JoJo's best. I don't know why she squeezed herself in there. That's how they knock it over. I get angry. So yeah, that's how I clean my cage. If you have any questions about anything, go ahead and ask. And thanks for watching. Now all I gotta do is feed the pigs their veg. And bye bye.